Keith Lawrence of the singing duo Steve and Edie has died. He was 88 years old. Steve died Thursday from complications due to Alzheimer's disease. Hollywood reacting to the loss of the Grammy winner. Carol Burnett calling Steve one of her favorite guests, saying she considered him family. I want you to know that I love you very much. Oh my darling, I love you too. Bob Newhart remembering his close family friend, saying, rest in peace, dear friend, we'll miss you always. And longtime friend Dionne Warwick telling E.T. her heartfelt condolences go out to his loved ones. We kiss in a shadow, we hide from the moon, our meetings are few and over too soon. Steve and his late wife Edie, who died in 2013, were top-selling artists throughout the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Time may tell me that your love is untrue. The couple performed together up through the 2000s and also dedicated much of their time to philanthropy. Edie and I have uh, backed uh, the carousel ball personally, uh, professionally and financially for several years. I think they're doing wonderful work. Barbara in particular it has been a pet charity of us for a long She's time. She's amazing. She's absolutely She's a very the dedicated, best. wonderful woman. When Steve wasn't busy with music and charity work, he was putting his efforts into acting, starring in 1980's The Blues Brothers. I don't think you guys are going to gross dollar one, but if you do, I want to taste it again, okay? Thanks, Corey. And later, making a brief appearance on Bob Newhart's series, Bob. Well, Bob Newhart is very unique in a lot of ways. Uh, he's, he's a unique comedian, he's a unique individual and the, the the warmth and sincerity that he has in his comedy is uh, obviously uh, people relate to it and have related it related to it for many series uh, bob is a very special guy a private funeral will be held for steve the family requesting that in lieu of flowers donations be made to alzheimersla.org slash s lawrence